day and age, it no longer takes a community to raise a child. In fact, in many cases, it would not be considered wise to even let your community aid in raising your child. Communities simply aren't as closely knitted together as they once were. Where parents could have once relied on the members of the community to help in raising their children, this is no longer an option. As a result, we're seeing the television and computer raise many of our children today. Unfortunately, the majority of the things that our children are entertaining themselves with on the television and on the computer are not, there are there are things that are not constructive to their lives or to society. And as for the community itself, it seems like the only ones who take an interest in our kids these days are those who are trying to cause them harm. With all these changes in our community, we find ourselves having to carry the load of a community when it comes to raising our children. Therefore, it's important that we're teaching our children the essential basics that they will need to succeed in life at every stage of their lives. Here are some basic topics that every parent should teach their children about. First is the topic of spirituality. It's going to be important for our children that all throughout their lives, they're grounded. They need to be able to see the big picture in life. How does everything tie together? The second major topic that we need to teach our children is going to be on relationships. Our children must understand that at the end of our lives, all that will matter is who's by our side, our family and our friends. We can't take anything with us into eternity, but the relationships that we form while we're here on earth, while we're alive, can make or break us. The third is the topic of finances. If our children don't value a dollar, then they certainly won't know how to make more, nor will they know how to effectively use a dollar. We owe it to them and to our grandchildren to teach them about investing, about wisely investing, about business ownership, savings, debt management, etc. Likewise, they need to be able to see how, saving a, how having a good education opens up doors in their lives for greater opportunities. Having a good understanding of finances and spirituality will shape and mold their understanding of politics. Why is voting so vital and important in our lives? And why do we vote for the candidates that we choose to vote for? Lastly, we must teach our children about good health. They need to value their health and be mindful of the foods that they eat and the activities that they engage in. Of course, the only way that we can effectively teach our children about these topics is if we first have a good understanding about these topics ourselves. This way, we will be able to become the greatest teachers our children would have ever had. Being that great teacher, that great influencer on your